It's Tuesday, June 29th in Las Vegas, and we are at the Las Vegas Convention Center about to enter two shows. One is the nightclub and bar show, and it is co-located this year with the World Tea Conference and Expo. Uh, that's to take advantage of the fact that both shows are missing a few international attendees and exhibitors. Nightclub and bar is typically noisy. We'll take a look. Fresh wine bar. Our wine bar is called Fresh. Oh, Fresh 
wine bar. I'm yes. sorry, it's yes. rather noisy. Okay, well, welcome to the show. Thank you. I think we're getting ready for a live audiovisual report. This is Jason, and he is the founder of B Y Y E R. Buyer. Yes. What is that? So Vire is a new uh, ID verification technology which can verify IDs instantly, anonymously, and uh, accurately. So we catch over like 90% of fake IDs and we just came out with two cool products. One is the Vire Venue app where you can create uh, events, promotions, reservations. As people come to the door, you scan their ID and tag them where they're going. You get like real-time data and analytics. And this guy, bad boy, the Vire Scan, is just our uh, standalone scanning app. We customize it for the client's needs. You want to scan the front, the back. You want the data, you don't want the data. We, we take care of that. So the other gentleman was saying that you could scan the back of the ID? Yep, the front or the back or just the back. Wh whatever the client wants. We, and we somehow your software can tell whether it's real or fake. Yeah, so we created multiple algorithms or like code that can take away all the personal info from the document and then we run a, like a like a pattern check on the document in order to figure out if it's fake or real. Okay. It's like a totally new technology, didn't exist before, and these are our first two products that will come to market. Is this your first uh, appearance at this show? I can yes. imagine. We yeah. tried coming a few times, but uh, you know, coronavirus and uh, yeah. I, I think one. Where year are you headquartered? Uh, we're in Richardson, Texas. Okay. Uh, but some of my guys, these guys are in New York. Uh, we're all spread over. It's a team effort. Okay, well, good luck at this show. Yeah, pleasure, Diane. Nice to meet you. This gentleman at Red Top Farms has a display of bison burger, and I took one bite, and it was so delicious. I asked the man whether the meat was getting more and more expensive, and he said yes. He said, I can't raise prices fast enough. Credit cards and credit card processing. your invoices. This is Plate IQ.
myself in the tea side of the expo. This is Fuso Pyramid Tea Bags. And they have a big display here. Yes. Okay. And um, they, they gave me a bag, which I needed, and I noticed the name was Line Leap, and I had to ask, what is it? And um, we're told that you have made this deal with a lot of colleges. And bars, yeah. And bars. Yeah. yeah. And so, how does it work? Real fast. Yeah, so if you don't want to wait in line, you can go on our app, you can buy a fast pass to skip the line. And then we share that revenue with the venue. So, so a fast pass means it's ten or twenty dollars more. Yeah. To get yeah. to the front of the line. Get to the front of the line. And not Except have to wait. I would pay that in a minute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so are you going to come to Las Vegas? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to, we've got a lot of huge. Oh, yeah. 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 We just this is our first time in Vegas, so we're just getting to meet everyone. How old are you guys? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. 25, and they're here at the uh, nightclub and bar show. Well, very good luck. You want to be seen in your next backyard party? How about NASA searchlights visible 5 to 18 miles? Wow. Chibango EPZT Company Limited, and there was no one here at the beginning, but then this young woman came and she said, by the way, this is a USAID project to bring in tea from a number of emerging markets, and that is why they are here and happy to be here. By this booth, because I was curious about ginger, and the young man here said, ginger is just good for your overall health. And he had a lovely accent, and I said, where are you from? And he said, Jamaica. Down a few stairs, and you are in the food and beverage Innovation Center, and it is popular. So here's some of the drinks featured on food and drink. Oh, sorry. And over here, I saw a sign that said "spicy thins." So folks are having lunch and maybe dinner here. See, good afternoon, everybody. Um, welcome to the nightclub and bar show. It is America's largest bar expo. My name is Paul Miller. As you heard, I'm the CEO of QuestX Media. We are the owners of the event, along with some others. And I can't tell you how excited I am to see you all here and everybody back there on the show floor. This has been a 35-year brand, and it's been 27 months of hell, which was the last time we actually did this event. So it's just fantastic to see you've had 10,000 bars and restaurants that have closed, millions of jobs lost. Uh, in our own business, which produces events like this, uh, we have been practically shut down as well uh, since February of 2020. So we had a choice to make. Do we wait until next year? Do we wait to come back in 2022, uh, which would I think have been an easy choice in many ways? Or do we want to help this industry get back and get back to business? And uh, that's the decision we made. It's great again to see you all back here. We've got a great show. There's great opportunities um, for you to support businesses, combine the freshest education and experiences, and get that face-to-face -face engagement that um, we've all been missing. We're changing the restaurant world forever. Virtual dining concepts and look at these attractive carry-out bags.
The nightclub and bar show is typically a show that extends into the evenings with uh, special parties and tours, etc. In this case, we're in the food and beverage section and they're getting ready for a big party on Tuesday night to introduce foods and beverages. I will not be attending, but I sure enjoyed seeing food and beverage and a little bit of the tea show as well.